You don't need no SH for washing. All you need is water because using SH is just for fast talking snake oil salesmen. That is an actual comment from one of my concrete cleaning videos. And surprisingly, that wasn't the only one. Sometimes I think I'm getting punked at some of the crazy things people say in the comment section, but there has been an overwhelming number of comments like this about not using various chemicals or SH in the cleaning process. Before I get into this, I want to say that I have zero paid affiliation with any chemical manufacturer or SH supplier. And everything I'm about to talk about is based on my 20 years of knowledge and experience, but more importantly, science. And if you're interested in getting more of that knowledge, check out the first link in the comments section below to learn more about the course that will change your business forever. I'm gonna take you step-by-step step through every aspect of my business from marketing and sales to the systems and methods I've implemented to run the business from my office for the past 20 years. So if you're wanting to scale your business to the next level or get off the truck and finally run your business instead of working in it, then this is probably the course you wanna check out. Okay, so can you use only water to clean stuff? Well, yes and no, I guess, but I tend to lean more heavily to the no because we are more in the customer satisfaction business than the pressure washing business. And by that, I mean, sure, you can blast away at any surface with high pressure water and remove the visible pollutants, but that's all you're doing. You're not killing the organic material that is still up there and living. It's the stuff you can't see. It's the spores of the mold and the mildew that are still up there and they're still growing. Yeah, the house looks clean and it will likely continue to look clean for some time as the mildew grows and spreads. The house didn't get dirty overnight and while you knocked off the ugly, it's only temporary. And yes, even when a professional cleaning contractor who follows the recommended cleaning methods from pretty much every building products manufacturer, along with the CDC and the EPA. When we clean a house, it's gonna get dirty again. We all know that and we all hope it gets dirty again so we can clean it again. But a good contractor does a good job and that is by doing it properly. Anything else is a disservice to the customer and that is not the type of business that I run. I want my company to do the absolute best for our customers because I don't wanna leave any doubt in their minds they made the right choice and that they will continue to use us for years to come. So yes, we use sodium hypochlorite to clean just about every single surface and with good reason because it's the best way to do it. I like to use this analogy and maybe I can make it a little easier for some of you anti doing things the right way folks to understand. If you have two yards, each has grass and each of those yards have weeds growing in them. Of course, you notice the weeds because they're taller than the rest of the grass. That's because they grow faster. So homeowner A goes out and puts down a weed and feed treatment, which kills all of the broad spectrum weeds in his yard. Homeowner B doesn't do a thing. They both go out and they mow their grass. The yards look exactly the same for a couple weeks until the weeds start growing again because homeowner B did not treat the problem. He just temporarily made it look nice. So who did a more thorough job in taking care of the actual issue? Obviously homeowner A. So as it relates to exterior cleaning, I'd like to say that a contractor who does not pre-treat is the actual snake oil salesman, just trying to get in and out of town before the customer knows that they got screwed. This same analogy can be used to explain to customers about why we just can't clean one side of a roof or when someone just wants the soffits and eaves clean. Using SH or other soaps, surfactants, or chemicals is not something that we use in our marketing or as a sales pitch. We don't even mention it to our customers. Of course, if they ask, we're more than happy to share the methods and the techniques that we use, but most folks just want their property clean and they want it cleaned right. So this has nothing to do with marketing. It has nothing to do with sales. I'm the first one to say, don't talk about your equipment. Don't talk about your methods and chemicals when you're trying to sell. Customers don't care, it bores them. They just wanna have the confidence that you're gonna do the job right and do it right the first time. And yeah, you've heard me say that this is just pressure washing, it's not rocket science. And while that is 100% true, chemistry is science. And if you follow the science, you will see that using certain products on certain stains and surfaces is the most effective way to do things. The pre-application of sodium hypochlorite on all surfaces makes the job go faster and easier because you're killing and loosening up the living organic material that is rooted to the surface. And regardless of how slow you go, regardless of how thorough you are, water and pressure will not kill the spores, which will grow back more rapidly if not treated. Look, I also understand that there are some people that are opposed to using certain products because they feel they might have an environmental impact. But as far as the effectiveness of whether using SH in the cleaning process is better than not using it, it's science and it's not debatable. 
Hey, I hope that this video helps shed some light on some things. And more importantly, I hope you have a great day.